Hi guys, Robo46 here, working yourselves back to MotoGP19 on the Xbox One X. It is time to start our Moto2 season with our Moto2 debut. So we are with the Sky VR46 team, which means I've had to change my helmet and everything. So that is the look we're going for this time. Green number, green boots, green gloves, green butt patch, and green stuff on my helmet. So... Yeah, we'll have a closer look at my helmet. And uh, there we go. So kind of similar to what it was, but I have changed it up a little bit. Obviously with the new colour scheme. But yeah, looking forward to our Moto2 debut. So I did actually do some time trial laps around Qatar on, uh, well, just in time trial on a fully upgraded bike. So it be interesting to see how the lap times compare and how much slower our bike is at its current state. I mean, it's not that far from fully upgraded anyway because it's a decent package. So we'll, we'll get rid of FP1 and 2 and get on with 3. So FP3, we were pretty quick right at the sharp end. So... We're going to see what we can do in Q2. Don't have to do Q1 because we're too quick. We didn't have to do Q1. Yeah, the, the bike is feeling really good. Um, so in time trial, on oh, hello, just spinning up the rear. Yeah, I have got everything still turned off, including traction control. Um, yeah, in time trial, I've done a 159.4. So I haven't been able to get near that time yet. I've managed a two minutes, like two minutes nine, two minutes point nine even. So we'll see what I can do in qualifying. We're just behind Alex Marquez on track. Hopefully he's not going to get in the way. But yeah, looking forward to this first race. I do like using the Moto2s. Seem to kind of... Uh, suit my playstyle a hell of a lot more than the Moto3s, although I have to say the Moto3s this year, they uh, they felt pretty good. They felt pretty good. I used to struggle quite a bit with trying to maintain high corner speed with the Moto3s, but I seem to uh, get on a lot better with them this season, or this year, with this game. We are really closing in on Alex Marquez. Please don't get in the way would like to uh, get a nice lap in if possible or if we can pass him then uh, obviously I will or do I try and stay behind him and use the slipstream to the line trouble is if I wait too much we're just going to end up losing time rather than gaining we've got a better exit there yeah we're going past now I'm concerned about him shoving up the inside into the final corner oh he had a look but I was in the way so we won't get to slipstream him, but we will get a good lap. And he didn't really waste any of our time. So what is it over the line? Two minutes, 0.7. That will do, I think. So yeah, two minutes, 0.7. That was quick enough. Like I said, in time trial, on a 159.4. So we're a little way off that time at the moment, but that's fine. Not too bad. And pole position in our first race. So looking forward to that and getting on with doing Greetings the first race. Viewers from the peninsula of Qatar. The floodlights that light up the La Salle circuit are on. And any Here we are live from the Moto2 class starting grid. Where riders and engineers are talking over the last few details. So going for a hard front and a medium rear. Because one thing I did find in FP3 whilst I was doing some of the... Um, the development tests is that the front tire was wearing really really quickly so even the medium was wearing really quickly a lot more than the front even when i had medium front medium rear the, the front was just going really quick so going for a hard front hoping that's going to help us here we go so that was an okay start i guess we've lost a few positions down into turn one Oh, come on. Let's see what we can do. So he's currently in fifth place, just behind Baldessari. He's right in the way mid corner. We've got a bit better corner speed, as to be said at the moment. So we've got Jorge Navarro just ahead of us now. Tom Saluti in second. 
And that sh Oh, hello, Baldazari. Thank you. But I want this position. No, he's still going to try, but doesn't quite manage it. That's uh, dropping me off the back of the leading pack at the moment. So Schrotter is leading. Hello, that's Binder. Oh, we've lost two places there. We've got Binder back, so we're back up to fifth. But now we've got Baldazari just ahead of us. Come on. Just need to find out where we're quite a bit quicker to be able to get past them. We, we definitely get a better exit out of that hairpin. Into the first of the quick right-handers. Not really making any inroads at the moment, still point two. It's fine. We've got seven laps to do, so we've still got a long way to go. Bulliger, my teammate, or one of my teammates, has just moved up to 26th place. But we are the highest Sky VR46 bike at the moment. I don't know where Marini is. So, yeah, I think we were very lucky to, to get off with this ride for this season. Baldazari's coming back past. His bike seems a bit quicker. Not gonna lie. On the brakes, we'll have him. Yeah, we do. Gone a bit wide. But Sten and four, so we've got a bit of work to do to catch back up to Navarro. So it looks like Luti's in the lead. Schrotter is in second. Navarro in third. Yeah, very lucky to get off with this bike for this season because. Uh, we only got offered one Moto 2 bike and it was this one, so very lucky indeed. So we're almost on the back of Navarro again. Schrotter's back in the lead. Just try and go with these guys for a little bit. We're in a good position. We're in a really good position. Just stay here in four for the moment and see where we can get past Navarro. I'll try and get him out of this next hairpin. Because I think we definitely get better drive than them. There we go. Yeah, we've got a better exit. So we're going to go past Navarro aboard this speed up. So up to third. We are looking at a podium position at the moment. Much better start to this season than what happened in Moto3. Moto3 really struggled in the opening round. But a lot stronger now. Obviously being on a really good bike helps. We're almost with Luti. We are catching Luti. Now we're going a bit wide. We've definitely got the pace. We've definitely got the pace for this one. Slipstream Looty. Come on. There we go on the brakes again, just like we've done to Baldazari. Maybe not. No, Looty's diving for the inside and he's taken the lead. Didn't look like that was going to happen, but Shrot are trying to get him back, but didn't work. And now we are on the back of both of them. Both the Dynavolt riders, Thomas Luti and Marcel Schrotter, Schrotter gun for the inside. Wow, Luti was really early on the brakes then. We need to find a way past. I think if we can get past, we can uh, pull away from these guys as we go up to second, but I'm going way too wide. Yeah, back down to third. Yeah, if I can just get past him, I do think I can pull away. Because they're definitely holding me up mid-corner as well, which is a bit of a pain. On lap three of seven. Okay, this is a good place to do it. Coming out of here. Yeah, again, better exit. Luti was spinning up his rear a bit there, so I don't know if his tyres are starting to go off. Oh, no, he's trying to come back through. 
There wasn't really a gap there though. Again, he's going for that inside. That is allowing Schrotter just to disappear a little bit. Can't shake Looty at the moment. Is he going to shove up the inside into the final corner? That's what I'm concerned about. No, he hasn't. No, in fact, he's just gone wide. Because I was in the way of him that time. So he sent himself a bit wide. Now it's all about the fight for the lead with Schrotter. This is good. This is very good. Wasn't expecting to be this competitive, I have to be honest. Like, before FP3, I didn't really know what was going to happen. I was expecting similar things to our Moto3 debut. But our Moto2 debut is a lot more promising. Of course, next time we actually race at this track... We will be in MotoGP. We're on him. We are on him. Gone wide. Couldn't get a better exit though because we went too wide. Get the exit out of here just to close in a little bit. The new problem with the hard front tyre does tend to make you understeer a bit more. So I'm having to use first gear a little bit just to bring the, the bike back. Which is working a little bit. But yeah, just trying to control that understeer a little bit. But yeah, had to go with the hard front. The medium front wouldn't have lasted. The soft front definitely wouldn't have lasted. The soft front would have probably been pretty knackered by now. Okay, too hot into that. So Schrotter sending in the lead for now. Oh, we've got the exit. Slipstream in. Can we get him by the line as we come around to start lap 5 of 7? Now again, their bikes just seem to be a little bit quicker in a straight line. On the brakes, though. We are through and into the lead, and we got it stopped very nicely. We are leading our debut Moto2 race on MotoGP19. Schrotter is back up the inside, though. But we got a better exit, so back into the lead we go. Through the right-hand kink. Oh, he's gone through again. Is he gone in a bit too hot? Can we sneak back through? Yes, we can. Sorry, Schrotter, but if you're going to go in a bit too wide, I am going to come back through. So, I said I thought I could pull away. Now, we're going to have to see if we can. In fact, we already are. We could be starting off our Moto2 season with a great, great victory. Let's just keep it going. We've got two more laps after this one. But this is going to be a really strong start to the season. And then we go to uh, Argentina next, Termas de Rio Hondo. Definitely feeling in control. We are just starting to gap him slightly. Not a huge amount at the moment. But we are pulling away. And out of the final corner. Are we going to set the fastest lap? I don't know because we had to do a bit of overtaking and a bit of fighting. 2020 no see if we can set a fastest lap now that we've got a clear track ahead of us no one is going to interfere with us anymore let's keep it on going we 
what is our gap? Almost one and a half seconds. So the gap is going up. Yeah, I had a, I had a few crashes in FP3. Mainly when I was doing the... Uh, the uh, development stuff because I just didn't bother changing my tyres for quite a few laps and then they just completely went. And I ended up having a few crashes so I was a little bit concerned that I was going to start using too many tyres but um, yeah I managed to save enough for the race which is good. Just going to have to go careful coming out of here that we don't spin up the rear too much in the high side. Tyres are looking good. The bike's feeling good. Yeah, one lap to go. And we will be finishing our first Moto2 race. Kicking off in fine style. To the final corner. Onto the very long start finish straight. No one's going to be able to slip through my I mean, I'm assuming the gap goes down a little bit down here because they do seem to be quicker in a straight line than me. So 2027 for that one. So 1.5. Final lap time. Lutie and Schrotter are still fighting for second place. Meanwhile, I'm quite happy out front. Oh, oh, yeah, the rear is starting to let go a bit now. So we we'll have to go careful with that. Now is not a good time to throw it all away. Not on the last lap. We'll just get to the end because that rear is starting to spin. But our gap looks like it's around about the same time. Okay, it's actually come down a bit. 1.1. I don't think we're in trouble though, I think we're absolutely fine still. Still got enough of a gap. Right, gentle out of it. Yep, spinning up. Yeah, because the rear tyre is starting to get quite hot now. Front is absolutely fine. 1.3 gone back up by a couple of tenths. Okay, we have got one corner left to go. We are going to win our first Moto2 race, our Moto2 debut. This is a good way to start a bid for the title. Much better than I anticipated, especially compared to Moto3. But there we go. First race of the season and first win. Part Ferme is starting to fill up with the nice. stars of the race. Let's take a look at a graphic of the official results and we've of the won just around Moto2. Uh, Los Isle now. Cool. That was good. The bike was working really well. The tyres were working well. Definitely a good decision to go for the hard front, even if it did understeer a little bit more. But yeah, second in the team championship at the moment, but that's fine. Got a long way to go. This rider has been able to impose a frantic pace on today's race. And now he and his mechanics are rightly going to party. Damn right we are. Right, let's go to round two. So, round two is Argentina. We've got some upgrades we can do, mainly electronics. That's the only thing we can afford. So we'll do uh, both of them, engine braking and anti-wheelie, because they only cost 15 at the moment, and now they cost both 30. So we can't afford any of them, and we haven't got enough for the, uh, the other stuff, the engine and the frame. So that's all fine. 
off to round two, Argentina. Let's go do this. Again, feeling good round here. FP3 was good, straight into Q2. Just seemed to have uh, clipped with the Moto2 pretty much straight away. I mean, I did feel comfortable with the Moto2s, like, especially at the community event, because I did go into time trial as uh, Sam Lowe's around Silverstone and just done like a load of time trial laps. But then when I uh, went into a race and I put the AI on 120, did struggle a bit. But we are feeling good. See if we can put a decent lap time in for this one. Put us on pole position again. That would be nice. Okay, through the long turn. Seven and eight. Oh, spinning up the rear there. That's the corner I used to call the slidey corner, especially in the previous MotoGP games. So it was a bit horrible going through that. I'll try not to spin the rear up through 11. Hold on to the brakes. I have crashed here a few times in FP3. Just... Uh, too much front brake through the final corner. Oh, that, that looks like a good time. That could be enough. It was enough. So, 142.4. Should be another good race. Because we have the pace. Here we are live from the Moto2 class starting grid. It is wet. It's a wet track. So, this could be very interesting. This could really throw the cat amongst the pigeons because I've not used the Moto 2 in the wet yet. And I, I'm going to try it without traction control and see how we get on. But, uh, yeah, this could be very interesting indeed. I don't think we're going to get off the line very well, but. I just got a feeling. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it doesn't like that. It does not like that at all. Gonna roll with it for a little bit. If we need to turn traction control on at some point, I will. Sam Lowe's has already crashed. Thing is, I know, like, in a few laps' time, we'll start getting a dry line, so. I'm gonna try it without Bad Azaro's going wide because he went to tip in and I was there. I mean, if I can just stay with these guys for now, then that will be a good thing. Because, like I said, when the line starts drying out, then uh, that's when we'll start going on the attack. Although, can we get past into third? Yes, we can. So, into third place. Schrotter leading. Marquez in second. Stefano Manzi has just crashed. Got to try and stay ahead of Luti, who's just behind us. Just taking it fairly easy on this lap. Don't want to do anything stupid yet. Just trying to stop that rear from spinning up as well. But we are in a very good position. Eight laps around here. And this lap is going to be the wettest lap that we have to do. Because it will start drying out. And we are there or thereabouts. Not quite gone very wide. We're not quite with them, especially after that mistake. But we definitely have some good pace to stay with them and go with them. So just going to have to keep plugging away. And uh, see what we can do towards the end because obviously when the dry the track starts drying out we will start getting quicker they'll start getting quicker i just hope that the tires don't go because we could only choose mediums so 
personally that is one of my concerns but looking at them they're looking absolutely fine at the moment I know we've only done one lap but we've got a good exit there we've got a very good exit there slipstreamer Marquez past we go into second place can we make it stick is he going to get us on the brakes with slipstream and uh, Marcel Schrotter as well on the brakes you can hear a bike yeah Marquez's throat just forced me a little bit wide so he's back oh no we got a better exit so back in a second place Marquez couldn't quite get it stopped and turned in time so second place A little bit wide there. Marquez not able to use that gap though. Up the inside, no, not close enough yet. Oh, okay. Well, didn't mean to do that, but just happened. This is very encouraging though. Oh, we've got a great exit there. up into the lead a bit wide again though in fact very wide so yeah we've lost the lead almost lost second place as well there so on to lap three fastest lap we've done 149.278 those lap times will start coming down especially as the track dries out so what am I best places it seems is coming through the right hand kink onto the back straight which is coming up very very soon in fact the next corner so through here get a good run look at that we're going to go into the lead just blast there so we are leading now is he going to be able to get us on the brakes though that remains to be seen at the moment yeah, he has. Has he gone in too hot, though? Yeah, he's gone wide. Can I sneak through? Can I sneak through? Not quite. Yeah, we've got him on the exit. So we are back into the lead. Spinning up the rear a little bit. But we're leading. We're leading in the wet. On the brakes into the right-hander. Oh, Marcel, no. That is not what you want to be doing. Thank you for that. Right, well that's a uh, bit annoying. So Marcel went for the gap where I, when I was closing the door. Down he went. We're still in second. But there's a bit of a gap to Marquez now as uh, Fernandez comes through. So we are down to third. Well, this has really taken a turn. I've got it stopped that time. Right, we're going to have to put some decent laps in if we're going to catch Marquez again. And we're on lap four of eight. Come on. if we can gain a bit of time through the right hand kink again seems to uh, be the place gone a bit wide myself though actually so yeah we won't really gain anything from that went too wide so the gap's not quite a second to Marquez Closing that in by the looks of it for the moment. So Fernandez is uh, fighting with Luti now in third. Binder and Ben Snyder fighting as well in 14th and 15th. Is that gap coming down? I don't know if it is. It may have come down a little bit. We've definitely got some work to do, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's come down about a tenth of a second, so not much. And we're nearly at the end of this lap. So we're going to be starting lap five. We're going to start running out of time soon. But, you know, second place, that would be fine. 
starting the season with our first and the second, two podiums. Marquez 148.8. We've done a 148.7 though, so we are going marginally quicker. Let's just keep the pressure up and see if we can get with him. We are closing. We are closing a little bit more. The track drying out. We're looking good. A bit wide there though. It's all about this kink. It's all about getting through here nicely like that. It's going to allow us to sneak up behind Marquez now. Use that slipstream as well. That was all because of that kink. We got a really good run through that. And we are virtually back on him. And get a good exit if we can as well. And we have... We have closing in a little bit more on the brakes. Through turn seven and eight. Marquez is definitely spinning up that rear a bit as we go into the lead, but he's on the inside and he's not though. Went in a bit too hot myself. And he's fighting. Marquez is back into the lead. Need a good exit out of here. Using all that inside kerb. Here we go. Back into the lead on the brakes. Marquez has got us though. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. At least I got the bike stopped that time, so that's good. Here we go. Exit. We're on the wrong side, but this will put us up the inside for turn one. And through we go. Gone a bit wide. Is he going to come back through? He's there, but he's not through. So we are leading now. Can we pull away like we did in race one? Gone wide again. But again, he wasn't close enough to come through. Now this is where we should, in theory, pull away. Especially considering how much time we made up last lap. And yet, it's over half a second the gap now back to Marquez. He'll probably close us in a bit on the brakes into the next corner. But this may be job done. So despite the fact that uh, Trotter tried his best to kind of ruin the race. He definitely ruined his own race, that's for sure. He just uh, inconvenienced mine a little bit. But we're back in the lead. We are starting to pull away from Alex Marquez now. And we've got two laps to go. So we're definitely looking like we're going to start the season with two wins. A second exactly back to Marquez. This should be another fastest lap. Dry line is definitely there. Oh no, not quite a fastest lap because we've done a 147.7. That was a 147.8. Right, let's push for another fast lap. Now that the, uh, the track is drying out, we can uh, push a little bit more. Ty's feeling absolutely fine at the moment let's try and keep it all together so the gap is 1.3 back to Marquez So this bike feels good in the wet, don't have to worry about the rear spinning up too much with traction control turned off. It's still very, very manageable. This has been a okay-ish lap. I don't know if we're going to be able to go quicker, maybe. 
And we're definitely pulling away from Marquez, that's for sure. Yeah, it's getting that. It's nearly two. Through the penultimate corner, turn 13. And we've got the final corner, turn 14. And one lap left to go. 146.3, definitely my fastest lap of the race so far. Can we go any quicker than 146.3? Well, it's the uh, last time to be able to beat that. So yeah, we've got this one in the bag at the moment. We're definitely starting off our championship campaign with the best possible results. Two first places. We're doing good. So obviously don't need to mess around with the difficulty at all. Keep it on 120% for the remainder of the season. Because we are competitive straight away, straight out of the box. We are fast. Through turn eight. And the brakes into nine and ten. Yeah, the gap is over two seconds. Despite the fact that it's been wet, we are going to take our second victory of the season. Two from two. That's very tight through there. Run to the line and done. That was a 146.4, so a tenth slower than our fastest lap of the race. There we go. We have won at Argentina. That was good. We are competitive, that is the main thing. There we go, 22 points already and that is over Alex Marquez who's moved up 6 places. Team Championship, we're leading that, I don't think it's going to be for much longer though. Because once Dynavolt come back they will be there. It is time to party. It's always time to party. But yeah. Strong, strong start. So there we go. Let's uh, upgrade. We've got 60, so we can fully upgrade both electronics, engine braking and anti-wheelie, and then we can have a look at all the championships and see what is what. So Red Bull Rookies hasn't started yet, so we won't bother with that. Moto 3, Messiah is leading that from Antonelli in second, Dalla Porter in third, Canet fourth and Darren Binder in fifth place. Moto 2, obviously I'm leading that from Alex Marquez in second, Luti in third, Badzari fourth and Schrotter in fifth place. And then Moto GP Rins is leading Marquez from uh, Valentina Rossi in third, Davizioso fourth and Jack Miller in fifth. Anyway guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content and I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.